I for today's tier done. Yes, one more tornado aircraft instrument. We have here the engine temperature indicator made by Smiths. Uh, here is the information for you. We have a date here of 22 March 1988 on the warning about uh, static sensitive devices. So here is, excuse me, how it looks in the front. Better like so. So a needle with a temperature indication up to 1000 degrees. Some uh, indicator here that might be able to change and uh, what seems to be a totalizer here also with a red flag in front of it. So it is a small instrument, something like 8 centimeters of side, but uh, super deep, almost uh, 25 centimeters with the connector at the back that has, for some reason, two of the pins which are corroded while the other ones are still uh, shiny and golden color. Interesting. So, how to open this? So, it is one more time the system with the little cylindrical nuts that go into the screws here. If I undo the screw, I will zoom a little bit for you. This little nut piece will come off. Quite a weird setup. Uh, Tamper proof uh, seal here, which is already broken by myself, I have to say, and last one here, so it was uh, 20 euros eBay item, it was on sale, the seller from Poland had uh, a lot of them, but it appears it is the last one, and it appears I have a lot of focus problems today, and it was, as it was his last one, it was on sale, but actually, it is in better condition than the one in a photo. So it is nice. So I did undo the screws, but the contents is still not coming, and I know why. Uh, there is actually a seal all around that is set under pressure by the four screws here. It is a usual setup. I have already seen this. So you have just to loosen four screws, it will release the pressure on the seal and it should be able to come off. Here we are. And yes, it is exactly this. So you can see there is a plate here on the seal and when you will screw it will press the seal to make it good uh, etochity. So, uh, what can we expect to find in here? As it is super deep, we have obviously mechanical parts on the front. We can expect a section with uh, mechanical stuff and then a section with the electronics. So, I will pull and yes, it appears it is exactly this. So the case is now completely empty, but we have this. Uh, it is apparently in uh, three sections. We have here on the front the mechanical readout with uh, the little counter thing, thing here. Excuse me for the focus today, I don't know, do not know what is happening. An interesting frame here all around, probably with a built-in backlight. And you can see it is made with a folded piece of brass. And we have also the little uh, uh, motors, or galvanometer motors for the little flags. 
like this one that will come out of the way like this and the other one actually says t7 or tbt okay so we have here the uh, other actuators uh, servo motor thing gearbox obviously and some uh, feedback potentiometer nice set of gears that will actually utilize a complete servo control setup of a needle and I will be able to reset it to zero here we are and you can see the counter is also uh, counting at the back like this so we are now completely at uh, zero it seems I can check by moving the little flag here ok seems good so interesting There's feedback potentiometer here I can see a power transistor here clamped in the uh, bolted on the structural piece here and here what seems to be uh, maybe power supply related to read a transformer with a little sticker in the middle which is embedded in epoxy a typical British military electronics wire harness with at the same time the pink heat shrink and the blue lacing tape very typical and here we have the electronics part which is called the chassis assembly same serial number apparently uh, backplane here connectors of the circuit boards with uh, flat flex interconnecting them and we have the shielding covering probably quite nice electronics so I will try to undo this real quick. Hmm. It is not necessary. It seems to undo completely the screws, which is good. There are days your focus on your camera will not work correctly. You do not know why. And the next day it is working correctly again. Okay, so in the front nothing else except uh, obviously backlight behind this uh, cover on the one uh, internal glass which is probably uh, some kind of light diffuser and we have another glass on the instrument case itself. So what we will find in this uh, Okay, oh, I was not expecting this, actually the one of the circuit board did come off together with the cover. The, uh, two of them even, because it seems they did remain glued on this uh, piece of form. Interesting, there are uh, indexes, so you cannot uh, mismatch them, so I will undo all of them. Actually, I was uh, expecting uh, some difficulties to remove them, but now this connector is very, very gentle and uh, no problem at all to extract them. It is even a little bit too loose in my test. So on the back here we have what is obviously the back of the connector with connected with flat flex and a block of uh, potting compound with uh, what seems to be two trim pots here and here so maybe it is some kind of uh, calibration unit something like this maybe actually it is possible to access the trim pots with the two screws here I will check if it is this or not
Uh, I do not see anything in this hall, but uh, the screws are there for no reason except for probably covering the access to the trim pot. So it must be this. Quite uh, interesting. So yes, some um, adjustment for the device. And you can see there is one more here. Multi-turn here, this one. Little uh, relay PCB here with uh, uh, wire harnesses interconnecting to the flat flex. This uh, precision potentiometer is made by Penny and Giles. You cannot see it, but it is written. Excuse me. Like here, you will be able to see Penny and Giles. So probably super expensive piece. And you can see the overall construction, everything is made of solid aluminium. So we are left with the electronics. So first two uh, pieces of uh, insulation made of regular circuit board material. And we go to the electronics. So four PCBs. I take them in a complete random order. First one, uh, round ICs with a number of pins, 10 or 12, something like this. EV conformal coating. Uh, this one is actually a relay, Teledyne miniature relay. The other ones have oh, LM747, so a pumps. This one must be something else. Where the reference number I see here. And on return model and serial number on the edge here. And here is your backplane connector. Really tiny contacts, golden contacts on this. Not really usual. Next board. We have here. Uh, one more toroidal transformer, more uh, round ICs with unknown numbers on them. LM709 here, but this one is a W something. Uh, wet tantalum capacitors apparently, a lot of them. And du regular uh, precision resistors. These ones have very poor uh, paint circles on them for some reason. And here they did not have space on the edge here, so they did uh, write the information here. NSN not filled. And over uh, very tiny writings on this one here. Uh, two more circuit boards. This one has a super tiny metal transistors and two uh, regular size ones here. Maybe there are some uh, voltage reference or regulators or something like this. ZT93. And these are mounted in uh, little heat sinks. Not something you see every day. More handwritten information on this one. Here we have the uh, NATO stock number. And again, serial number. Last PCB, uh, still more or less the same thing. Again, to read that transfer the mer with uh, sticker uh, with label embedded in epoxy. More metal cam transistors, more uh, unwritten stuff. So here again, one transistor with uh, this little metal cap. CD, 4047 IC, two small trim pots, one glass coated power resistor. And for some reason here, they did uh, write the information in white. 
except of, uh, for the uh, serial number which is again written in blue. Interesting. So not uh, really uh, as well instrument. So it is typically the kind of instrument I want to get more of them because you have a lot of uh, electronics in this ones. So now I have to figure out which PCB is going where. Looks like this one is going here. Uh, actually no because it cannot match. It cannot match. Uh, it must be here. Oh, here. As you can see, quite uh, weird setup. This thing. You have PCBs. Must be this, I believe, because we have two insulator plates. So we must have one insulator plate going here. And then I am checking if the pattern inside the form will allow me to find again which is the correct position of the circuit boards. It looks like we have three uh, imprints here because of this. Uh, Capacitors, so they are obviously in the middle. So maybe this is not correct, and this is correct. No, it must be like this. Quite uh, weird. You can uh, actually uh, insert the card in the bad slot. Okay, we have a little bit better view here at the uh, servo motor assembly and it is all for this thing. So I will definitely have a look on eBay for more of uh, such uh, instruments with a deep case because it means you have probably a lot of electronics in them. I would like to find also instruments with uh, a combination of uh, digital and analog readout. And you know what? It seems it is all wrong because this cover will not get correctly in place. So I will need to figure it out. But uh, I will uh, stop the video here, obviously. You do not want to see me fighting for hours with the circuit boards. A nice, uh, beautiful instrument for my collection, at least. And this is falling off again. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.